Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So today I've had a request to draw a camel. Here we go. This is what we're going to be producing today. So all that you're going to need is a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And remember, if you enjoy drawing animals, don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find just here. Let's get started. We're going to start off easily with a big circle just here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a rough circle. Or you can draw around something if you like. Then we're going to draw a slightly smaller circle just to the left of this circle. So. You can see that my circles aren't very perfect, but just do what you can. We just need a rough guideline. We're going to rub these out, so don't press too hard. There we go. It's got our big circle and our slightly smaller circle. Now we're going to draw the camel's hump. So just draw a line coming up here and then it comes down here. Next, we're going to draw the underside of the belly. So from about here, we're just going to draw a line coming up to hit the other circle, just like that. Now we're going to be drawing the legs. So I'm just going to roughly measure that. That's going to be about the same size from the tummy to the top of the hump. So I'm just going to do that. So the foot would come down to here. So let's draw some ground just to help us out a little bit. And we're just going to draw stick legs. So we need one line coming down like this. And then I'm just going to draw the hind leg. So that's going to do something like that. Maybe make it a little bit thinner, just like that. And then the leg will come down like this. And then just another little stick with the leg behind it. And a little stick for the foot behind that one. Okay, great. So next we're going to be doing the head. Now we're gonna draw another circle. So just about here. Now this is a much smaller circle than all the others. I'm going to join up this circle to here. And then underside of the neck. So we'll come here. Then we're going to draw like a little box like thing at the front of the circle. and then the ear. Next we're going to be doing the detail of the camel. Now you don't have to use a pen straight away, I'm just going to use a pen, um, but you can carry on in pencil and remember we're going to rub out all the guidelines underneath. So just starting near the hump, I'm just going to go up and down. Following it round here and then I'll follow the leg round and then just draw the joint there. Then I'm going to come up the other side. I've got quite a few joints in their legs. This is a dromedary camel, which only has one hump. Okie dokie. So we're going to draw the tummy coming down. Then stop round about here. Now we're going to carry on this part. Draw the hump coming round the front and then the neck. And then there's a little bit of fur on the neck so I'll just include that. So I'm actually gonna draw the ear going forward a little bit more. And now for the camel's face. They've got the most expressive faces, they're wonderful. So, I've got these 
ginormous big lips as well. Really, really expressive faces. So draw the bottom lip coming down like that. Now the nose is quite interesting. Just draw kind of a slit kind of um, shape coming down and then just draw kind of the outside of it. Okay, we're gonna carry on underneath the chin. There we go. Then up round behind the ear. Now for these beautiful, big, expressive eyes. So let's just color this in. They've got lovely long eyelashes to keep all the sand out of their eyes. Just like that. Okay, underneath we're going to be drawing a little bit of fur, just like that. And then we come down and round until we meet this circle here. Now we're going to do the top of the leg. So that comes around like that. But this is kind of the muscle before the leg. Now the actual leg, which will come around like so. Leaning backwards a little bit, so that's the ankle. And we draw the other side. So there's another joint here. Coming up. Then coming straight down. Just like so. Now the front of the knee. And then coming all the way. And then the same on the other side all the way down and then big foot with the toe and we're just going to draw another foot just poking out from behind this one just like so okay we're just going to join up this little gap here and we're going to start on the back leg again so we've got the legs finished up to about there, so now we're going to bring this leg round forward a little bit. I'm going to join it up with the back part, just like so. We will bring it round, big toe, another big toe, and then the other leg's going to be peeping out from behind. This one comes out here. It's in line with this one here. So one big toe, another toe. We can just draw the back of the leg just going round behind. Okay, so now that all that we've got to do is to do the tail. So, nice big bushy tail. I'm now going to rub out all the pencil lines. So I've rubbed out all the pencil lines so you can see it a bit better and I'm just going to add some shading and some shadows. Just really simple shading, just in the areas where the sun won't reach and it's in shadow. So just under the chin now, just behind the ear, because the sun's coming from this direction if you can imagine that just underneath the lip a little bit. So all the way underneath the neck. It's going to do some really, really dark shadow because the light's quite intense. And then behind the leg, I've got quite a bit of shadow. And coming down behind the leg too. Got a little bit of shadow just coming down around the front of the leg. 
You can also use um, some hatching, which are just lots of little lines like that. If you want to do cross hatching, then you just do lines in the opposite direction. There we go. So, a few more lines down here. The back of the feet. Front of the feet. And the same here. Underneath this back knee. There we go. And then round behind here. Then round the back. Underneath the tail. Okay, and then definitely underneath the tummy here. Quite a big shadow actually. So let's make that bigger. And just colour it in. If you want, you can do this in a slightly thicker pen so it won't take you quite so long. <laughs> and then just behind the camel's hump. So, a little bit more shading here, and then just draw some lines, just show the wrinkles, just on the neck, just like so. He looks like quite a cool camel, doesn't he? And then we just give the notion of some ground, and then the shadow comes out behind the camel, over in this direction. There we go. And that's your finished camel. I hope you didn't get the hump doing it. Ha ha ha. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. If you've got any requests at all, please leave them in the comment section below. Take care, bye bye.